Well, new at six, $220,000. That's what the city of South Bend will pay for two new diversity and inclusion staff members. WSBT 22 fact finder Suzanne Spencer is in the studio with us. And Suzanne, the council just allocated that money in the budget last night. Meaning we won't see these positions until likely next year, Rick. But we're talking about two new jobs. One to oversee police and fire departments and another to oversee hiring for all other city departments. The two new jobs designed to oversee their hiring process have people wondering about that $200,000 price tag. What is it? <laughs> uh, what does that mean? And uh, sounds like a lot of money. Paul Vordy is a retired firefighter and says that money could be better spent. But the mayor says now is the time to make the change. Without even knowing it or meaning to, we might have practices right now uh, that are making it harder. Uh, to work here as uh, a minority uh, or depending on your gender or other issues and we don't want that to continue. One position would oversee the city's hiring and operations in terms of diversity and inclusion. Another would oversee the police and fire departments and documenting promotions and performance valued at 86000 We wanted to know how diverse the police and fire department and city already are. Within the city of South Bend there are 1,352 employees. Of those, 21% are minorities and 19.5% of those are females. But that's very different from the South Bend Police Department, where there are 248 officers, with 15% of those, or 37, being minority and females. The mayor says there's not a threshold or quota that he's trying to reach. It's not just about how many people you hire from a certain background. It's about what kind of practices you have as an organization. But Council Member Derek Dieter disagrees. In the end, the, the best people for South Bend should be the one who are the most qualified and can do the job regardless of what color or race. Wanted to give you some perspective. We broke down the numbers in the Benton Harbor Public Safety Department, which is made up of police, public safety officers, and firefighters. There's about 32 of them, and the total staff, 81% of them are white and 19% African American. And while the Benton Harbor de Department does employ two women, they do not have any minority female representation. Now, we checked into some other things. Other institutions like Notre Dame are implementing similar positions like what South Bend is trying to do. At Notre Dame, they measure success through diversity training, recruitment, and surveys of the campus climate. And Jennifer, we've got more resources online about how this salary compares to others in the field at WSBT.com. All right.